This short video will give a brief overview of what to expect from your MyDNA personalized medication report. Throughout the video, you will see the results of an example patient. Please remember your results will be different to this. The first page provides an overview of the report and a breakdown of what is included in each section. Please remember that the pharmacogenomics test looks at how your body handles medication based on your personal genetic makeup. It doesn't contain any ancestry information and it also doesn't contain any disease risk information. There is a traffic light system of alerts. Red means major prescribing considerations, orange means minor prescribing considerations, and green means usual prescribing considerations. The first page provides a summary of the results and includes any medications you may have entered in at the time you registered your kit. Any medications you entered that are covered by the test will appear with a coloured dot beside their name and a summary of the genetic test results. Any medications you entered that are not covered by the test will appear in a list below it. These are medications where there is not currently enough clinical evidence to include them on the report at this stage. The genetic test results overview is the chart with your actual genetic test results in it. The gene column tells us the name of the gene which is being tested for. These genes provide the instructions to your body for making the proteins and enzymes which break down medication. The genotype is the combination of two letters or numbers which represent the variations in the genetic information you get from each of your parents. The letters and numbers are just labels for these variations and do not represent an amount of anything. The phenotype tells us how the genetic in information you inherit from your parents, the genotype, will work in the real world. The arrow under the chart shows the range of different levels of enzyme activity which exist in the general population. See that poor metabolizers are on the far left. For these people, their enzyme is either working very poorly or there is not very much of it. In that case, for most medication, it will build up in their body and not be cleared out as quickly as expected putting them at increased risk of side effects and adverse effects. On the far right, we have ultra-rapid metabolizers. For these people, their enzyme is either working very quickly or there is a larger amount of enzyme. In that case, for most medication, it will be cleared out of their body much more quickly than most people. For each of the medications that you listed, a panel of information with detailed prescribing advice is available. Depending on the computer system that your doctor uses, this may also be available to them as a pop-up at the time of prescribing medication for you. The future medications section provides an overview of recommendations and alerts for the commonly prescribed medications covered by the test. Medications are classified as having major, minor or usual prescribing considerations and are listed in alphabetical order grouped by drug class. For medications with usual prescribing considerations, no altered effect predicted by genotype does not mean you won't experience side effects from the medication. The pharmacogenomics test tells you how your body handles medications depending on your genetic makeup. Will it clear the medication out too quickly and then the medication won't work? 
or will it clear the medication out too slowly and the medication will build up and cause adverse effects. If there is the right amount of medication in your body, you can still get side effects from it just because of the way some medications work. At the end of the report, there is a pharmacogenomic interpretation chart which provides a detailed explanation of each of your genetic results. Thank you for watching this short video overview of what to expect from your MyDNA personalised medication report. We hope it will help you to get the most out of your pharmacogenomic consultation.